Boys and girls, my name is Stephanie. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for protecting us during the night. Oh God, help us and protect us as we learn your word. Please speak to us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let us join the praise and worship team. I lay my life down at your feet. You're the only one I need. I turn to you and you are always there. In troubled times, it's you I see. I put you first. Can 
help me building up the kingdom of the Lord. It's so high, can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around. You gotta go through the door. Building up the kingdom, building up the kingdom, building up the kingdom of the Lord. Brother, can you help me? Sister, can you help me? Building up the kingdom of the Lord. It's so high, can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Pauline, and I am happy and excited to be here with you. And I welcome you to today's lesson. With me today are my friends, Shadi and Charlie. Hi! You want to yes! Mm -hmm. Wave at them, boys and girls. Wave at them. Hi. Awesome, awesome. Welcome to today's lesson. And before we go very far, can we pray? Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. So, boys and girls, when I want to pray, I put, put my, my hands together. together. I, I close my eyes, ready to, to pray. pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing us and gathering us together that we may be able to sit and listen and watch this program and learn from this lesson. Help us, therefore, to do all that we are going to be taught. In Jesus' name, and all the boys and girls said, Amen! Awesome, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember last week the lesson you were taught? Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. Um, wow. Chapoline. Our friend Shadi mm -hmm. has something to tell us. Can you remember what we learned, Shadi? Um, um, we learned about um, it's a new safari series. It's called Engage. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Please clap for our friend. Yes, yes, we started a new series on the safari, which is Safari Engage stage, and that is Engage 2. And also, part of the lesson was an activity. And you people sent your beautiful craft work. And we have seen it, but let's look at it again. Chapolin, those are nice. Did you like them? Mm -hmm. I love them. Shelly, what did you see? Wow, the, the coloring was beautiful. Awesome, awesome. And today, boys and girls, I want us to learn a new lesson. Do you see what I'm holding? I am holding a booth. Oh. Hmm? A booth. A booth. Um, Do you want to know what it's used for? Please tell us. Mm -hmm. This is a voting booth. It is a voting, voting booth. booth. And do you know what? Mm -hmm. Every country in the world, every country in, in the, the world. world, like the flag I'm holding is for Uganda. Mm -hmm. And every country mm -hmm. in the world has to elect is its leaders. It has to vote in its leaders. And so people go to the voting booth and they put their ballots. 
They Pastor choose Pauline. their leaders. Pastor yes, Pauline. Charlie. Even in our school, uh -huh. we normally vote. Yeah. You do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Who do you vote for? Governors, mm -hmm. prefects, yeah. yes. so many people. Oh, yeah, that's very good because mm -hmm. in today's lesson, we are learning about government. Mm -hmm. And what is our lesson? Our lesson is establishing God's kingdom in the government. Boys and girls, can you say that with me? Establishing God's kingdom in the government. Do you know, Shadi? Yeah. What is government? Um, government is Uhuru Kenyatta. <laughs> Shadi, hmm? is that true? I think you need to tell us, teacher Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that's a good girl. Government is a group of people who have been given power. Who have been given? Power. Power to rule. Power to? Rule. rule. Power to lead. Power to lead. And power to manage people. Ah. Okay? Yes. And do you know what? In Kenya, we have leaders in, like you said, President Uhuru, mm -hmm. we have his deputy, mm -hmm. we have governors, mm -hmm. we have MPs, mm -hmm. members of parliament, mm -hmm. and we also have Cabinet. chiefs. Cabinet secretary. Yeah. Yes, and then mm. we also have the ones in the rural areas, in the village. We have the chief, mm -hmm. we have the village elders, mm -hmm. all those are leaders. leaders. All those are leaders. leaders. All those are leaders. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? These leaders have been given a role. Guess who has given them that role? Me, me, I know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Shali? God. Yes. Yeah. Boys and girls, all the leaders who are in power have been given that by God. There is no leader who can be in authority or who can be leading people without God. And so, boys and girls, it is important for you and me to know that all our leaders have been given authority by God. God. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, mm -hmm. the Bible tells us that when God created everything, everything in the world, he gave man the authority to rule. He gave man the authority to do what? To yes. rule. Mm -hmm. To also have order, maintain mm -hmm. order and know that everything is working right. right. Everything is working right. right. Uh, Dr. Pauline, yes. I normally hear on TV yes. in Parliament, he says, order, order, order. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the leaders should know that they should always maintain order. order. Shali, what is the purpose of government? What is the government there to do? Do you know? Uh, to give order. Very true. But also, there are some things that the government should give you and me as a citizen. Do you know what those things are? One are good roads. Shadi, do you like uh, traveling on good roads? Yes, I do. Good. What about clean water? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aha. Then there is electricity. Mm -hmm. And then there is also security. It is the work of government to provide these services to every person in their country. And those people are called citizens. They are called citizens. citizens. And mm -hmm. that is you and me. me. Wait a minute. But there are some people in the citizens who are not good, and they do not do what they are told to do. Shirley, yes. can you remind us, what are the, some of the bad things that people can do in a government or in a, in a country that will require them to be punished? Like corruption, okay. stealing. Shadi, um, when people go and fight other mm. people. Mm -hmm. Violence. Yeah. Violence, yes. Mm -hmm. So it is the work of government to ensure there is order and there are laws to be followed. And these laws are for everyone. Shadi, yep. do you think that the our leaders should follow the law? Yes. 
we should all follow the law. Yes, and because we said that our leaders are there put in place by God, they are answerable to God. Mm -hmm. They will answer to God. God. Yes. But what about you and me? Because now we are just citizens and they are the ones who have all the mandate or they have been told to lead us. What is it that we should do? Shadi, what yeah. do you think are some of the things we, me and you, mm -hmm. can do as members of a country? We should respect our leaders mm -hmm. and obey the law. Very good. Mm -hmm. I think we should also be praying for our leaders. Yes, mm -hmm. it is important to also pray for our leaders. And boys and girls, that is the role that you and I have been given. You and I are supposed to, one, pray for the leaders in government, mm -hmm. two, respect those in authority, and mm -hmm. also when the time comes, like in school and there's a position of power or that there's a position where you need to lead, you offer yourself for leadership mm -hmm. and you go and ensure that you obey God as you lead. Now, at this point, I want us to read a Bible story. And our Bible story is from the book of Daniel. In the book of Daniel, in chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. The book of Daniel, chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. And here we find three boys. Three Hebrew boys. And these are Shadi. Do you remember the three Hebrew boys? They were? They were Shadrach, uh -huh. Meshach, Meshach, yes. And Abednego. Yes. And during that time, there was a king. And he was King Nebuchadnezzar. And do you know what the king did? He went and made a big idol. He made a big idol out of gold. And then he put it somewhere in his town. And he told people that whenever you hear a trumpet blow, you go on your knees and worship it. Charlie, do you, do you think that's a good thing to do? No. Why? Because we should only worship God. Very good. Shadi, do you remember learning that in Sunday school? Yes. Yes. We should only worship God, God, the true God. So, the three Hebrew boys, that is, who are they again? Shadrach, uh -huh. Meshach, yes. and Abednego. They did not worship the king. They refused to worship the idol. So, when the trumpet blew, they did not kneel down to worship the idol. Do you think the king was happy? No. No, no, no. The king was not happy at all. He was very uh, angry. And guess what he did? He said, get those guys <gasps> and put them in the fire. <gasps> yes. <gasps> and do you know what? He said, heat it seven times. Oh. Let it be very, very hot. Chapolin, and that's very hot. I know, I mm. know. But the king was cruel. Mm -hmm. And that is what he did. So the three young men were marched, they were full, their hands were uh, tied behind their back and they were marched and thrown into the fire. But guess what? Because they loved God and they feared God, he protected them. So when the king came to check on them, children, what do you think they saw? What did the, what the king see? Um, um, he saw... Four people in the fire. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You saw how many people? Four. Four. He was very surprised because he had only thrown how many people? Three. Three. But guess what? He said, who is that with them in the fire that looks like the son of God? And guess what? God protected them. And when they came out of the fire, there was not even the smell of smoke. <gasps> smoke on their clothes. So Nothing. even Chapolin, they were not even burnt, even their hair. No. No. Oh, wow. Not their hair, not their clothes, because they chose to obey God, God. instead of a bad leader. Mm -hmm. Does it mean they did not respect the leader? No. But they were God fearing. They respected the leader, but they were God fearing. fearing. And let me tell you, boys and girls, you and I as Christians, 
are called to be obedient to our leaders, but also to remember that God is the greatest leader of them all. Uh-huh. All of them. Now, boys and girls, what is it that we have learned from this lesson? We have learned, number one, okay, that leaders are put in their positions by God. Yes, they have been put in their positions by God. And then number two, your role, yours and mine, is to do what? To pray for them. Very good. Uh What else, Shani? Obey. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Shadi? Uh, and to, uh, and to, uh, we said pray and said obey yes. and also mm-hmm. to listen to what they tell us. Yes, and also we say that when the time comes and you can take leadership, even when you're older, you present yourself to take a position of leadership so that you can also be able to influence and bring good leadership. Okay, boys and girls? Awesome. And now, I also want to ask you, do you know that for you to be part and parcel of that group of people who are praying for leaders, you have to have a relationship with Christ? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shali? Yes. Do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Yes. Shadi? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. Are you born again? Yes, I am. So now I would like us to invite boys and girls who are not born again to right now to lift their hands, okay? And I want, they are at home, you lift your hands and then we pray together. And I want to give you some words to say, but I want them, I want you to say them as your own, as your own. And... Let us pray. When I want to pray, when I want, want to, to pray, pray, I put my hands together, I close my eyes, ready to pray. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I invite you into my heart. I invite you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. To be, be my Lord and, and Savior. That from today, that from today, I am a child of. God. I am a child of God. God. From today, from, from today, today, I am your friend. I, I am your friend. friend. You are my friend. And you, you are, are my friend. friend. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Very good. Now, boys and girls, if you have prayed that prayer, you are now born again. You tell mommy and daddy, and then they also can continue to help you to pray and read your Bible that we may continue to grow even as we continue with the safari. So boys and girls, our memory verse for today is from the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21. The Bible says, He, God, sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise. I repeat, and you say after me, Mm Daniel chapter 2, Daniel Daniel chapter chapter 2, verse 21, verse 21, the Bible says, the Bible says, God, God sets up kings, sets up kings, and he gives wisdom, and he gives wisdom to the wise, to the wise. Now, repeat it on your own. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. The Bible says God sets up kings yes, he and gives wisdom to the wise. Very good. And boys and girls, that's our lesson for today. We love you. Thank you for joining us. And to close us off right now, may we all close our eyes to pray. When I want to To pray, pray. I put put my hands together, together. I close my eyes, ready ready to pray. pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for teaching us and reminding us that it is you who has put leaders in positions of power. Thank you for reminding us that we have a role to play and our role is to be, we pray for our leaders. Our role is to ensure we also respect and obey the law and also we present ourselves as leaders. Help us as we grow and even as we continue to learn the safari 
that we may be doers of your word. We thank you and we bless you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. And all the children said, Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, as part of our lesson, there is a craft for you to do. You color the picture that is going to be sent to you. It is about the three Hebrew boys plus the Son of God. You color it and take a good photo of the same and send it to your teacher who will in turn send it to us. And do not forget to also do your daily reflection. Every day there is a memory verse to do and also some activity for you to do. So please remember to do it. That's it for today, boys and girls. Bye. 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 Chapulin, Chapulin, I'll give me a heart like yours, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.